Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, new features and functions are announced for the Evolution E5 EFI. The FAA releases Super Bowl 54 requirements for general aviation pilots, and Fasana's International Flight School Operators Conference is set for Las Vegas. Happy Monday and welcome to the show. I'm Sophie Herlock. Aspen Avionics announced new features and functions for the E5 EFI for those who prefer a more traditional HSI. The STC non-TSO baseline Evolution E5 consolidates attitude indicator plus HSI into a single display with a rechargeable backup battery. It also includes GPSS and Atahors. Aspen has also developed true air speed, outside air temperature, wind direction, and speed. And WAAS GPS mode annunciations as optional software features available for only $495. Additionally, the Evolution E5 enables owners to remove their vacuum system and other backup indicators. The Evolution E5 is approved for IFR flight when installed with a panel-mounted IFR GPS. When installed without a panel mount GPS, the E5 EFI is approved for VFR flight only. Aircraft owners who already own Aspen's Evolution E5 can update their current display through an Aspen authorized dealer who will enter the change with a logbook entry. New EFI displays will begin shipping immediately with the HSI feature. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. In the month of December, Keith Snyder Jr. and Mark Spock renewed their first Master Instructor designation, and Bob Goller earned the designation of Master Instructor Emeritus. Each recipient was accredited as a Master by Master Instructors LLC the International Master Instructor Accrediting Authority. They also obtained their designation through the Master Instructor Fluid Review Program Online. A base jumper who had been hiking in Arizona's Superstition Mountains was rescued by multiple agencies after he fell around 40 feet while free climbing up a sheer cliff face. The jumper was rescued using a Department of Public Safety Ranger helicopter, which plucked the 49-year-old man from the cliff face. The FAA proposes to revoke the Air Carrier Certificate of Nantucket Express LLC for allegedly conducting passenger carrying flights using unqualified pilots and unauthorized aircraft. The FAA alleges between March of 2015 and September of 2017, Nantucket Express conducted 76 passenger carrying flights using three aircraft that were not listed on its Air Carrier Certificate and that unqualified pilots operated these flights. Nantucket Express operated 39 of these passenger carrying flights in an aircraft that had not undergone required safety inspections. Between April 2016 and September 2017, unqualified pilots operated an additional 17 passenger carrying flights. The Pearl 15, the exclusive engine option for Bombardier's Global 5500 and Global 6500 aircraft received its official certification from the FAA. The engine has previously been certified by EASA and Transport Canada Civil Aviation. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you.
General aviation pilots who want to fly around Miami or Fort Lauderdale between January 27th and February 4th will need to check out the FAA's no tam for air traffic procedures for the area due to Super Bowl 54 being held at the Hard Rock Stadium on Sunday, February 2nd. The FAA has published a web page with information for South Florida area airspace and airports. The agency will update the web page as additional information becomes available. As a designated national security special event, additional unmanned aircraft restrictions will be in place before, during, and after the Super Bowl. A reservation program to facilitate ground services at South Florida airports will be in effect from January 27th through February 4th. Pilots should contact the FBO at their airport to obtain reservations and additional information. The FAA will publish a TFR for Super Bowl 54 centered on Hard Rock Stadium. At this time, the TFR is expected to be active from 4 p.m. until 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The TFR will have a 10 nautical mile inner core and a 30 nautical mile outer ring. Flight school operators, chief flight instructors, and persons considering opening a flight school should take note of the Flight School Association of North America's upcoming International Flight School Operators Conference, being held February 19th through the 21st at the Bally's Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. Registrants will have over 20 multi-track sessions to choose from during mornings and afternoons on February 20th and 21st. February 19th is a preview day, which includes an attendee reception, dinner, and new for the 2020 conference, an afternoon mentoring session. The new mentoring session entitled I'm New Here is intended for conference registrants who are interested in starting or have just started a new school. Some of the most successful school owners and managers in the industry will be on hand to inspire and give advice. And that was our last story of the day. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For more aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, head over to aero-news.net. I hope you had a wonderful Monday and I'll see you tomorrow.